I was having some palpitations, lightheadedness, and then also some like heavy pounding of the chest. With my ECG, they diagnosed me with Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome, and I then had an EP study and ablation done here at Centric Care. With that accessory pathway being taken care of and having that ablation done, my uh, risk for sudden cardiac death is out the window. It has also helped me with my pregnancy and I would have been diagnosed with like a high risk pregnancy and it would have been a little bit more with complications during the delivery time. Kind of a little scary being on the other spectrum of care. Being here at the Heart Center and visiting with Dr. Atui, he helped me feel a little bit more calm. I was able to talk over kind of what the process was with the accessory pathway and then again just reassuring me that everything would go okay. The Electrophysiology Division at Center Care Heart and Vascular Center provide a comprehensive, patient-centered, high-quality care to all the patients who suffer from heart rhythm disorders. With an outstanding staff of nurses, advanced providers, and accredited lab, our electrophysiologists are able to provide an extensive care for the patients who are suffering from rhythm disorders in Central Minnesota and beyond. For patients with atrial fibrillation and are not great candidates for anticoagulation, we do have a left atrial appendage program that provides a solution for them. This will decrease their stroke risk if not placed on anticoagulation. Leadless pacemakers are an exciting technology that allow for delivery of pacing to individuals without any scar on the chest, without any possibility of complication uh, at the chest, and that allow for arm mobility that sometimes can be restricted by uh, a pacemaker located uh, at the chest. So nowadays our standard is uh, to not use any fluoroscopy for uh, electrophysiology study and ablation procedures. And this goes for our, our SVT studies, it's for our flutter ablations, it's also for our atrial fibrillation ablation procedures. With intracardiac echocardiography, we can uh, clearly see transeptal puncture and then access the left atrium so a, an atrial fibrillation ablation procedure can be completely floralless uh, from case start to case end. We do have an extraction program that takes care of patients who require removal of their leads after being implanted for several years. Selected patients may benefit from his bundle pacing. His bundle pacing is an old concept, newer technology refined. It provides the patient with a better way of getting paced. This will be an alternative to resynchronization therapy and sometimes with better results. The device clinic at Centric Care Heart and Vascular Center is a group of eight nurses and eight technicians that monitor device patients and at this time we have just over 5,400 patients. The device clinic is crucial to the overall center's goal because we have crucial information that is coming from these devices that help providers manage patient care. Our clinic has been recognized nationally due to our efficient workflows, high patient satisfaction scores, high employee engagement scores, and we have hosted over 175 visiting clinics. Our lab is central right in Minnesota, so it's kind of nice for our patients to be able to be seen from around the Tri-State area here, instead of having to drive all the way into the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. I think it's very crucial to have this state-of-the-art, nationally recognized program here for all of our patient population. The Intersocietal Accreditation Commission has accredited our lab. We're the seventh in the world and we're also just the only one in Minnesota that's accredited. It's been a really great process to go through and learn what we can do to improve the quality for our patients. When we keep our patients the main focus, we will be able to collaborate with smart teams and staff to provide them with the best care that they deserve, no matter what the challenges are.